Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Seasons After Fall. In the last episode, we brought the final fragment of the seasons back to our guide so that she could perform her ritual, though things didn't go exactly as expected, and it seems like it may have actually ended up killing off our fox. So our little seed kind of took on the image of the fox at least, so it's kind of living on in spirit right now, but we're on a grand journey now to help the Guardian of Winter to uh, free these stones that are currently stuck in the ground by uh, creepers. And we're trying to find these little jellyfish to uh, get rid of the creepers around the stone. And I think I know exactly where the last one is. In here, where the Guardian of Winter actually resides, there should be, there we go, a little crack totem. So let's see if this is the one that our jellyfish is hiding in. Of course it is, of course it is. So I love how this game knows just how to distract me because of course, if you put a big, giant, adorable bear in front of me, that is exactly where my eyes are going to be. But now we can grab this guy, we can attach him to us with this little light leash, and then we can bring him back to that stone. Now I believe the Guardian of Winter called them something along the lines of the Stones of the Winds, something like that. And I guess they're going to help us out um, just restore the forest maybe? Because of course our guide really did a number on the forest with um, the way that she was taking all of these different fragments away from the Guardians. So let's go ahead and uh, send this big ball of snow out so that we can climb up on these trees. I don't think the stone was really that far away from this area. We just have to uh, kind of climb our way up here. This, in fact, is one of those creepers that we were uh, using before. We uh, put one of the jellyfish into those creepers, and I think I need to change it to a fall here. I'm seeing all of these mushrooms kind of close up, and I have a feeling we need to use them to climb a little bit higher over here. So I think we're pretty close. I remember all of these trees. We're using all of those trees before, and now we need to make it summer. Summer is the time where these little vines can kind of unravel for us. So if we change it over to summer and then bark at this little thing, it should, there we go, unravel right for us. And now I believe this is where the stone was. Let's see, yeah, this is looking familiar. This is where the stone was. Okay, so we have just one more vine to free this big stone from the ground. And if we follow it along this way, we should hopefully find one of those big like bulbs that kind of gobble up our little jellyfish. And in fact, I think I should probably change it to a fall again to open up these mushrooms. Um, I wonder if there's another way that we can go around. Let's see, maybe we have to go up on these mushrooms. Let's see if I can get up there. If we use these trees, then we should be able to hop right across. I do remember opening these up before, and there we go! This is our little flower that's going to gobble up our jellyfish. So I believe it works in the summertime. I believe it was the summer. Yeah, it is. Okay, so if we bark at it right now, it should eat our jellyfish, and then we have to kind of follow the light all the way through the creeper and help it uh, get to the stone. So these little pods, we have to jump on these so that it can keep going through. And then if we just follow it like this, um, again, I think we might have to change it to fall. Yes, we do, because the mushrooms love the fall time. It seems like this forest had um, a lot to do with the fall season, which makes sense because there, of course, are a lot of mushrooms in the, um, in the forest. So there we go. I think that was it. That should be it. So that should successfully free this giant stone, and then we can see what this is going to bring us. Well, there we go. It looks like we can destroy this thing, too. The wind may start blowing again. It will guide you to the seed. Let yourself be carried away, Fox. Okay, so is this like a portal of some sort? It's going to carry us away to the seed, he said. Though I thought we were the seed. That's interesting. So let's go in here. Yep, it's a portal of some sort. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, this doesn't look good. Where on earth are we? We have all of these big thorns that our guide was kind of using to block us away. Are we wherever she is maybe? Oh my goodness, that's a big jump. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna make that. There we go. A really big jump here. Oh, what are these things too? Oh, do you think I have to get to those somehow? It looks like if we go this way, we might be able to um, actually get up on this platform and maybe hit those. Let's see if I can jump on this. <gasps> What's happening? Who's there? Hey, how did you get in here? My treasure! Look what you've done! You've broken one of my treasures! You can't come in here! Get out! Oh, that was our guide. So our guide is in there? Is she the seed then? Oh, that's interesting. I thought- What happened, Fox? 
Have you found the seed? I can't find her anywhere, but I'm starting to sense her presence. I think I even heard her voice. She must be hidden here, in the very heart of the sanctuary. Three other stones of the winds have been enchanted. I desperately need your help, Fox. While you're setting the stones free, I'll concentrate and try to locate the seed. Oh, that is really interesting. So she is actually the seed? She always called us the seed. That's interesting. I don't know what that means, though. And this fox is still here, which kind of gives me hope, actually, that maybe we can bring it back. I don't know. I mean, just the fact that they left the fox there. But I guess we should go off this way toward the swamp, because that was the second area that we went to um, when we were collecting these fragments. So if we go off to the swamp and maybe go say hi to that big crane that was there, too. That was the uh, Guardian of Fall, in fact. And since we've been using the fall season so much lately, it would probably be a pretty fitting if we went to go see the Guardian of Fall. So we'll go off this way toward the swamps and see if we can find him the stone there. I don't remember exactly where that stone was, but I'm sure we passed it at some point. I'm sure it was um, probably not too far away. The other ones seem to be pretty close to the exit. So if we keep going this way, we should be able to find it. And I do want to go see if the uh, Guardian of Fall is still in um, her nest over there. We'll see if we can go find her too and maybe say hi to her. I wonder if she'll also have a voice. I wonder, maybe he, I'm not sure which one it is, uh, but we'll see if we can talk to the Guardian of Fall as well. As we jump across all of this ice, I do remember this. It feels like so long ago, but I remember this area. Um, I don't see the stone yet though. I see a lot of stones in the background, but those are not the stones that we're looking for. So we just have to keep going here. This one is actually quite long. There's a lot of ice in this area. Luckily, we can just hop across all of these giant pillars so we don't even have to worry about changing the seasons. Um, but I'm sure it's going to get a little bit more complicated once we get into uh, the heart of the swamp. There we go. We should be in the swamp now. So if we go all the way to the left, we should be able to find um, the big nest where the Guardian of Fall was. And I would like to go say hi to her, so I think we're going to do that first. But we will keep an eye out for that stone, too. Now, the um, the fall season was actually pretty good for this area, too, because these holes in the ground sent uh, wind up in the fall season, and that would lift the branches of the trees. So we might need to change the seasons pretty soon, too. Uh, but let's hop across these for now. We might as well keep it the uh, winter time because it is definitely helping us uh, get around here. And luckily, we don't have to destroy any of those uh, big bark barriers that were kind of blocking us before. This stone contains the noisiest and most violent of the four winds the mistral. Only the top of the stone is visible. The rest is buried underground. It's not in its normal state. Go and investigate, Fox, and find out what's holding the stone. Oh, the most violent of the winds. Great. So we're doing that second, I guess. So we have to go underground somehow to kind of push the stone out? Okay, so it's different from the creepers this time. That's interesting. I would like to continue along this way, though, just to see if we could possibly find um, the Guardian, if the Guardian is still here. And hopefully we'll find a way to um, get down underground over here as well. I don't remember seeing any pathways that would take us underground before. So I'm not sure. And we have all of these little bugs here still, though. Uh, maybe they'll be able to help us out later. I guess we should continue this way. Um, here's one of these totems, too. Okay. One of our little jellyfish friends. Where are you going to take us? Was it going into the water? Okay. I think it maybe um, opened up like another portal, maybe? Kind of like uh, the stone from before. Oh, yes. That's a portal. Okay. So that little bug just got teleported to uh, wherever that happens to lead to. Maybe it's off this way? Was it over here? Yeah, there it is, okay. So I'm going to continue this way. We'll come back to that in just a moment because I do want to see if perhaps the uh, guardian is still. There she is in her nest, hello. I wish I could talk to you. I guess um, this one doesn't really want to talk to us, but that's okay. It's still sleeping, in fact which is um, quite interesting. All of the guardians seem to be very, very sleepy after um, whatever our guide did. I'm not really sure what, um, what possessed her in the past to do all of these awful things. I don't think she's really evil, though. Honestly, I think she's just really young. 
and it looks like we're underground now, so that did work. The jellyfish kind of took us underground here, and oh, oh, one of these things. So maybe we actually need to uh, bring that little bug in here, but look at that. Is that another one of those dream things up there? Way up at the top, I think it is. It has that little uh, chrysalis up there. Okay, so we definitely want to find a way to uh, get through there. I think if we go back through this portal, and um, let me just take a quick peek over here though. Yeah, we have to go back through the portal and um, go get that bug that we saw kind of like disappear into this portal before. Um, I'm sure that's probably not going to be as hard as it sounds because the bugs seem to be everywhere. There's one in fact, there we go. So are you actually big enough to uh, destroy anything for us little guy? Let's see, if we bring it over to the water, will it kind of expand for us? Um, I'm not sure if it actually did. <laughs> we might need to change it to um, the fall time for it to do that. Oh, wait a second. Okay, it seems to have gotten bigger in on um, the underground here, so it's just fine. But we have to go very slowly to take it all the way over to that piece of bark that was blocking us. Yeah, these little pieces of bark, these bark barriers, were what I was very glad to see were not in the uh, swamps anymore. They did not respawn, so we were able to run so quickly through the swamps. But now if we go up here, we should be able to get a um, another dream of some sort, and maybe get a little bit more uh, insight on the backstory of our guide. you listening to me? If you sleep too much, one day you'll lose yourself in your dreams and never wake up again. You look troubled. Is something worrying you? It's just that I saw a spirit wandering around the sanctuary. Yeah, so? Are you afraid of spirits now? No, it's not that, but... What if one of them turned into a seed? Should I let it take my place? Should I go back under the stone? <laughs> I think you're thinking too much. Oh, don't make fun of me. Just explain. Excuse me, but I've already explained several times over. Have you forgotten? Only one seed can exist at a time. And once the seed has been chosen, there's no going back. Are you really, really, really sure? Yes, because I'm telling you. Hmm. Well, you're just saying that to reassure me. Are my questions annoying you a bit? <laughs> don't worry. That's what I'm here for. If you don't trust yourself, how can you trust others? Promise me you'll try. Okay, I promise. No, wait a second. She is the seed. And there can only be one seed at a time, according to our Winter Guardian. So her calling us her little seed all the time, was she actually trying to maybe get us to replace her? Because she really wanted to be freed in some way. She wanted to be like us and have a body. Uh, we don't exactly have a body anymore, but I guess that was her way of just trying to get out of it. Maybe that's what the ritual was for, to make us into the seed, whatever the seed does. Oh, that's really interesting. And she's stuck at the heart of the sanctuary, too. Um, now, we might as well continue off this way because we might be able to find um, the big stone over here. Well, that's really interesting. We have to find the rest of those uh, dreams down here um, in all of the other places. It sounds like we probably have, like, one dream in each of the four places where the seasons were, I'm assuming, anyway. So we'll continue trying to uh, unlock the rest of those because those are really interesting. We're learning so much about our guide that we wouldn't have otherwise. So let's see, where do we have to take you, little guy? Um, we probably need you to actually go into that water. Yeah, looks like it. So if we change it back to, um, well, we might as well just go back to fall. 
Then you can soak up all of that water for us. There we go. And then we can like scoot you off of this way in the winter season because that's when the sky is ready to explode. So if we just open up this area, then hopefully we'll be able to uh, use it later. We might as well, since it's right here and ready to be um, blown up, we might as well just open it up for us. Um, it looks like it actually goes down deeper too. There are a lot of twists and turns to this little cave system, so... Um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anything, especially those little flowers that we like to uh, make bloom too. I'm not sure if there's any significance to those really, if um, that'll give us anything. I think I saw one. Yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> I just barely saw it out of the corner of my eye. Um, and here's another one of those barriers too. Oh boy. So we have to find another one of those bugs to take over there. Though honestly, I'm not sure if we need to do that. Um, it looks like we can just go around this way, so we'll leave that there for now. We might have to uh, open it up later. What is this? What on earth is this? Is this one of those uh, things in the fall time that kind of let the winds through? Let's see. Let's see if this will open up and I'll let the winds come through. Um, can you do anything? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so what on earth did that do? <laughs> I'm not really sure what that's opening up for us, but I guess that's okay. Um, we have some feathers up here to jump on. Maybe that's what it did. So that's good. And we have uh, one of these cracked totems too. Hello, little jellyfish. We'll uh, let you free. Um, is it going to open up another one of those portals for us maybe? Yeah, I think it is. All right. All right, little jellyfish. Where on earth does that go, I wonder? I believe that was like directly um, to the left. So we might as well go over here and just see where it goes to. Um, yeah, right by this wind over here. So let's see, where is this going to teleport us to? Just like right back outside, I would assume? Right back uh, where we started. <laughs> oh no, this is a little bit different. Um, where on earth is this? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this is basically uh, where we ran past before, so I don't think we need to be out here. I guess this is just to like take us back to the surface when we're done down um, in the underground, but I don't think we're done yet. I think there's still uh, some more that we need to uh, take care of down here. We do need to find that stone too, like that is the number one priority. Um, let's see, why don't we change it to winter so I can hop across these little pillars of ice. Just in case we need to keep on the uh, high ground over here. Um, it looks like we're okay though. So we can continue off this way and hopefully find uh, something here. Let's see, there's some more feathers. Um, in fact, I think we might need to take the feather to get a little bit higher up. There we go, that should be good. Um, oh my goodness, <laughs> this feather, I thought it was going to drop me right off. Um, oh, and here's the other one, okay. There we go. Okay, so let's see. What did that do, though? I mean, it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. It's giving us this beautiful music, but otherwise, I don't think it's really um, accomplishing much. I did notice there were some flowers up on top, though. So let's see. Is there any way that I can kind of, like, get up there? Uh, there's another totem up there, too. All right, let's see. Maybe I need to keep going this way? All right, this is familiar. It's one of those puzzles where we need to, like, make it, um... We get winter, and then I think if we grow the water with the springtime, we should be able to get up a little bit higher. There we go. Sometimes it's tricky to get this fox to a jump where you want it to, but we're getting the hang of it. All right, so that made it grow, and now if we freeze it again, we should be able to get up to the higher platform. And then we should also be able to get right over to uh, those flowers. So let's see, there's, oh, there's a little feather. So we push that down. That should mean that we'll be able to uh, use it to maybe get up a little bit higher. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if we make it into um, the fall time now, then I can hop right on top of this. Maybe, maybe a little fox. <laughs> there we go. And then you can go up here and bark at this guy. And is that going to open up yet another portal, I wonder? It seems like that's what the jellyfish do in the uh, swamplands here. And there's that wind again. Oh, I wonder if the wind is like carrying the jellyfish then. Maybe that's what it's doing? I'm not sure. We're going to have to uh, follow the wind ourselves, I think, to see where it's going. Um, we have our flowers over here. That's what I wanted to get. And then if we go up this way, there's the portal again. Um, let's see, there might be a little bit of a higher route up here too. So I just want to check this out. Um, okay, here's one of these guys. So why don't we bark at you and get you to uh, come out of your little home in the ground and we'll see if we can have you maybe blow up something. Um, let's keep you going this way, little guy. Let's see, is there anything over here that we can maybe blow up? Um, yes, there is. All right. And then if we change it to winter, then we should be able to bark at you. Um, and that actually lets the wind come through a little bit more, it looks like. Yeah, it does. Oh! Oh, the currents were going straight toward the stones? 
Okay, we didn't see this area before. There's some more flowers. So this was uh, the current off to the left that we did the um, initial time, the first time we found one of those uh, big, almost like honeycomb looking pieces in the ground. So it went off and it started pushing up this uh, stone in the middle. And I wonder if that's the stone like completely taken care of. If we use the uh, portal that that jellyfish opened up, maybe we'll be able to get right to the stone. So let's go see. We'll go out there and see if the stone is a uh, complete completely fixed yet. Um, I wonder which way it is though. Hopefully it's off this way. I do kind of recognize this area and I think it might have been very close to the stone in fact so we might be fine. There we go. Here's the stone but it doesn't look like it's ready just yet. So we still have a little bit more to do down there. Um, let's change it to fall just in case just to make sure that it's not going to like blow up out of the ground with the extra wind. Okay so we still have a little bit left to do. Maybe like one more a big current will push it up from below. Let's go back down there though and see if we can find anything else. Um, we did have another one of those bugs to use so maybe we can blow up another piece of bark um, or something along those lines anyway. We might as well bring this guy out. We'll bring him out and see if there's anything that we can do with you. Um, I don't think there was any bark really off of this way though. Um, I don't think there was. I'm not going to take the bug all the way down here though because we won't be able to get him back up. Yeah, he can't even come over here because he can't uh, jump. So we need some really big gust of wind to like push it all the way up. Hmm, this is interesting. So we might as well keep uh, going off this way and we'll see if we can find anywhere for this guy to go. Um, let's see, you want to go over there. Um, I want to follow you this way though because I'm a little bit worried if he jumps off of this area He's not going to be able to get back down. So we do want to make sure that this is the correct way um, And I don't think it is <laughs> I'm not really sure where we need to take you little guy. Maybe we already blew up whatever you needed to uh, do um, Yeah, this is the area that just brings us back there So let me backtrack over this way and I'll see if there's anything over here um, yep, here's the stone again. So what am I supposed to do with you, Mr. Stone? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to help you. Um, let's see, if we try one of the other seasons, I mean, we have summer here. It doesn't really seem like there's anything special we can do in the summer. Um, we have spring here too. And it doesn't seem like anything special can be done in the spring. Oh my goodness. So there must be something around here somewhere that we just need to uh, find to completely free the stone. Let's go ahead and teleport out of here again and see if there's anything above ground. We'll see if there's anything up here that we can possibly use to like pull the stone out all the way. There's another one of those bugs up there. Um, but otherwise, I don't see much. I mean, there's this right here too. We might as well uh, use this to maybe get up on top of the tree. Maybe that would help us out a little bit. Um, I don't think I can jump that high though. Oh my goodness. So we need to uh, kind of time this correctly. If we do it this way, then I should be able to get on top of this leaf. There we go. And then we can go over here and see if there's anything that we can do a little bit higher up above the stone. I'm not sure if there's going to be though. It doesn't really seem like it. And we have these trees up here. Oh, wait a second. Hello. Another little jellyfish. All right. I'm glad I went up here. Maybe this one's going to help us. Um, it'll give us another one of those portals, another one of those little puddles to kind of teleport through. And maybe that'll bring us to like the last little um, burst of wind that we need to push this out. <laughs> Our fox is so excited. Or a little seed rather, because of course the fox is no more. Um, I think this is the puddle. Let's see, where is this going to take us? Hopefully somewhere different in the underground. Let's see, um, there's another burst of wind and I think that may have freed it actually. That may have been just enough. There we go. Okay, so we just needed that jellyfish to kind of help us along. And now it seems like the stone is completely free. So if we break that stone now, we should be able to uh, go back to, well, I guess it was the heart of the sanctuary where our guide is hiding right now. So I guess that's what we'll do next time. We'll uh, go over there. I don't want to go too far, but we'll go over there and we'll see um, if we can find our guide again in the heart of the sanctuary. So thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.